Hello, welcome back to the bee vlog. I'm Bill. Today's inspections are going to be pretty minimal. I'm actually just going to be taking some weights using my hive scale. I haven't used it at all this season yet. I've heard that the nectar flow is pretty much over in our area. I'm still learning more about the nectar flows and getting getting acquainted with how, how much nectar to expect uh, in this area during the year. So I'm going to be taking a baseline reading on the weights today. Now normally when I use the scale I have to have access to the back side of the hive but this fence is only a couple feet away from the hive and I can't fit the scale there so I'm going to be trying it from a side approach today and see how well that works. Also on these two hives I want to check on the quilt box and see if the bees have been chewing through the canvas bottoms uh, and releasing any of that uh, pine shavings down into the hive. So it's been two weeks since the quilt boxes have been on here. The bees seem fine. They seem to be doing all right with them. Uh, the temperatures today are actually very nice. It's only about 72 degrees outside, even though it's the middle of July. Uh, that's one of the things I love about the weather here. And then I'll just be taking a look to see if they need any room. I'm not going to be going through all the frames. I'm just going to be basically seeing at the top frames how much room they've built out and see how crowded they might be and if they need any additional space. And that's it. I'm just doing that much on, on all the hives today. So let's take a look at those quilt boxes first. So here are the pine shavings. I feel a little bit cool. Uh, they don't really feel damp, just cool to the touch, it's still dry. I don't expect a lot of moisture this time of year, but these hives uh, previously in the spring had been showing a lot of moisture. That's why I wanted to try it on these two hives at first. So let's open up the quilt box and look at it from underneath. problems with the pine shavings is you can't really turn it upside down and look at it. They've been coating it with propolis. I don't see any bits being chewed out. You know, a little bit right in the middle there, possibly. The hole has been started. Closer look here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, see, I just dumped pine shavings into the into the nest area or the, into the box. I still have plenty of room in here. I'm only using about six of the frames up top. Other than the mess I made, um, they seem to be doing okay with the quilt box. I'm going to try to get a weight here from the side. Normally I do this from the back where I have a gap built in underneath the, the hive stand but I can't get to the back so instead I'm going to try to get to it from the side here and uh, see if I can pop it up here and get the scale underneath. This is weighing 37 and a half pounds, so we need to double that. 
to make it um, 75 pounds. Now it's time to check on Queen Catherine's quilt box. Same thing here, the pine shavings just feel cool to the touch. Not really wet. Let's take a peek underneath and see if they've chewed through it at all. Sounds good. So, I don't see any chew holes, but they've been propolizing it nicely. fine on space. They don't look crowded. So I'll just take a wait here and go visit all my other hives, take weights, and take a peek under the hood to see if they're running out of space or if they're good. That's all there is to today's inspections. I'm out at another one of my yards now and when I was doing just a quick, quick peeks in to see how the bees were doing this one just seemed a little off. This is the, the hive that I got uh, from the townhome cutout up in the attic. Uh, three weeks ago when I was doing an inspection and checking up on them, found wax moth on the comb that was older and not being occupied. Um, I'm not seeing the kind of growth out of this hive that I would expect. So I'm getting a, a, an off vibe from them. Um, the population just isn't growing and things are not looking normal. So I'm going to go through and do a thorough inspection on them, take a look at the brood and see if everything's all right. It still smells like an attic. Well, they have brood up in, in the, on these frames. Not this frame. This frame feels a little bit heavier. We've been filling it with honey. So here's some brood. Looks all right to me. I see eggs in here, so there's a queen in here. Yeah, well, I guess everything's all right with them. They're just small. Go down in the second box and, and see how much that's been filled out. I haven't really been drawing out much new comb at all up here. This is a frame I added a few weeks ago and just a tiny bit of comb. pollen coming in. There's a bee there with pollen on her legs. They're only weighing 56 pounds. 
Very light. About 40 of those pounds are for just from the wooden woodenware in the boxes and frames. They still have not chewed through and gotten rid of all of this uh, rubber bands. Let me see if they've attached it well though. This is comb that's just not being used. So they, they have um, really been hurting. Po their population hasn't been growing like I would expect. And this was a very big colony when I collected them from the town home. frame full of pollen here. They seem to be surviving, just not thriving. Um, a lot of unused comb. Still isn't fully attached. And the numbers seem to be dwindling. Keep an eye on them and see if things get better. Um, it's not looking good for them though. I'm thinking of shrinking down their space even more, giving them just one box. I'll check back in a couple weeks and see how they're looking. See if they're still looking just as grim.